as DP, there were many, many times that we extended our invitation or we requested our invitation, we requested the, 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 the PF with ourselves to sit and discuss on a lot of pertinent issues and a lot of decisions that they had made, which we didn't agree. And every time we tried to do that, they called us bitter. They said President Kalaba was bitter. They said President Kalaba was simply uh, ambitious. And because of that, they are where they are today. A listening government, a listening government will always call. It doesn't mean if you listen to the opposition, then you become a lesser government. No, it doesn't mean you actually become more wiser and you do things better. Because look, for us as DP, we are seriously preparing to take over government when the people of Zambia gives us a mandate. And we don't want to come and take over a government which is in tatters. And that's why we will try by all means, we will strive to advise the ruling party. It's unfortunate. I think somebody yesterday called me and says somebody was saying, we don't want good goodos from the opposition political party. For us as DP, we are, are above, above board. We are not a political party that will begin to sugarcoat the opposition. I mean, the ruling party. We are not a political party that would want to start running to the ruling party for defections. No, we are above that. We want the best for this country. Speaking of what so we best are for, for... the UPND. When we speak, the UPND should be able to hear. So have you already because started so, as a political party with engaging the ruling party now? Because you say it's the best to do in this transition period. So have you already started? And that's the first thing. The second thing, at what point does this transition begin? Because uh, we're looking at a government that has said the country is in a critical situation and it needs fixing as soon as possible. So they probably, sh based off that, there should be even be no uh, room for a honeymoon. It should get into business um, straight into things. So at what point does the transition period end? And have you already started with keeping those checks and balances in person, as you are saying, is a mature way to go about it? Well, I... I know that uh, this Friday, um, this Friday, Parliament will be opening, mm. and the president will be giving his maiden speech to uh, Parliament. So it all begins first of all from there. Let's hear his maiden speech. Let's hear what will be the direction. Yes, you are right. There is no time for honeymoon. There is no time for hide and seek. It's time to get to work. And so even when we are waiting for our friends to settle, when we are waiting for President Akainde Ichilema to settle, we are not asking, oh, uh, we're not giving him uh, one month, we're not giving him two months. We know that settling would take three weeks. Two weeks has already gone. And I think he's already gotten acquainted to uh, many of the systems in government. And the other thing that we also need to appreciate that, that we have noticed as DP, and the reason why, partly, we also saying, let's give President Akainde Ichilema three weeks or two weeks for him to settle, is we need to understand that our new Republican president has never been in government. He has never worked in any portfolio in government. So he's got a lot of things to learn. He's got a lot of things to acquaint himself with. Himself with. He's different from President Kalaba. President Kalaba has worked in government at different portfolios. So even when he assumes government, it, it will be short time, short period, and everything is moving. But for President Akainde Ichilema, he's, he's still learning the gist, the nitty gritties. And I think you can see um, a lot of uh, 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 orientation that is, that is going on. There is no time, I repeat. Zambians need to see development. Zambians need to see all those campaign promises come to fruition.